really wanted to talk to you guys about the element um, salt water. So one of the things that I um, I started to write a course for Creative Witchery and it's called Animal Messengers and Spirits of Place. And originally it was just going to be Animal Messengers because one of the things that um, is the same all through my cards is the fact that I like to interpret messages from the animal kingdom. Insects, animals, fish. Um, but what I also seem to really struggle to do is to separate that from the environment in which it's found. So what you'll find with my cards, my Dreamtime reading cards and my Saltwater cards is that I not only share messages from the, the creatures that live in those environments, but I also share messages for the spaces, the sacred spaces, the natural landscape, um, landmarks uh, and environments, natural environments that have different energies and, and have a meaning all of their own. So tonight my little section is on salt water and one of the things that I really am fascinated by is rock pools, um, especially just how different, different um, areas with their rock pools can be. We're um, really lucky here on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. For any of you that know this area, um, the beaches that I go to the most are Yurunga and Hungry Head. Um, there's also a beach a little bit further up the coast and it's called Yarrawarra. And it's actually a really sacred space to the local Gumbengia people here. Um, it has an Aboriginal learning centre there and it's a, a really special beach. <laughs> um, one of the things that it offers that is really, really beautiful is it has little rock pools that occur on little rock cliffs right next to the water as well as some rock pools that, that sit right along the tide line. But the little ones on the cliff are specifically um, really special because they actually have natural ochre rock there. So as the rain comes down and as the sea um, crashes against it, it actually creates little pools of already mixed ochre and some in some really beautiful colours. So. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a place really close to my heart and somewhere that I find really sacred and really special. But there's also um, beautiful big blue rock pools around my area. Um, some of them are probably about a metre <clears throat> wide. And I love how, how calm they are right next to the waves, especially when the, when the tide has gone out a little bit and, and you just have this little still pool of water and behind it these beautiful waves that are crashing and, and um, rolling all over the place. So I'm actually going to share some photos with you of some of my favourite rock pools and just how different they are around different spaces. And the reason I want to do that is to show you why when I'm doing my course you won't only be learning about the animal messengers and, and why I personally can't separate them from the environment in which they live. So as well as learning about the animals, you will learn about everything within your space, everything in within the, um, the area within you live. You'll be encouraged to really connect to everything above you, everything below you and everything around you because that what is what creates the environment in which you live. And Australia has some really unique environments. Um, especially all over our continent, the environments can, can vary greatly between rainforest and desert. Along the coast, we're really blessed with salt water, but I actually live in a beautiful little town that is equal distance almost to the beach, but to the rainforest and the mountain and the plateaus. So we have some beautiful natural environments around us. And, and I know that you probably have some really beautiful environments where you live too. And even if you live in a city or um, somewhere where you don't get to see much of the natural environment, I'm pretty sure that there would be some parks and stuff there. So if you were interested in doing my course but you think, oh, how can I connect to my natural environment when I live in the middle of a city? There is still so much of nature even in those kind of places, okay? So the, I know that bird, I, I went down and stayed with my sister in Sydney a few years ago and I was really surprised with the bird life down there, the amount of um, parrots and cockatiels and just beautiful um, big uh, like uh, magpies, black cockatoos, like... So I think it doesn't even, it doesn't really matter where you are. The, the nature is, is visible everywhere. So I would really encourage you to go out and, ex, and explore your, <laughs> your local environment and really just try and, um, and connect in a different way. See it for the environment it is. And when you're looking um, for your messages in nature, like 
kind of pay attention to where it is you're finding them as well because each environment has an energy of its own as well. Um, that's all I wanted to share with you. So if you would like to hop back on to the um, Creative Witch Week page now, I'll be sharing some really pretty pictures of some rock falls and we'll be just talking a little bit more about the different sacred spaces you can find in your natural environment. Bye.